So we picked up this golf cart a couple years ago. Um, kid's grandma got it for him. I really didn't want a golf cart. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I mean, like, what do I need a golf cart for? But I tell you what, that sucker came in handy a lot. But the kids abused it and used it and everything else. Last year, my youngest was out twirling around in the field with a buddy of his and uh, turned it just a little too sharp and flipped it over, crashed it. It was it was in bad shape. Oil's coming out the carb. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure what all's wrong with this, so we're going to dig into it and see. And, you know, the boy, I, I was mad. I, I was mad, and it's been parked ever since. Um, I told him, I, I'm not messing with it. You guys wrecked it. I'm not fixing it. But uh, I'm going to fix it. But the uh, boy had a bad week that same week. He got uh, the same sheriff's office that I worked for called on him because uh, we have a new neighbor down the road that I don't know, a little on the weird side. I don't know. But anyways, he was out fishing in the creek out back here, and he walked down the creek some, and she called it in as a suspicious person in the creek. And, you know, before I knew it, I'm getting phone calls, and I had to go out and check it out, and it ended up being my own boy. So, in the madness of all that, his mom uh, made him a meme. I'll put that up here for you to see. But, uh, yeah, so let's get to work on this, Dane, and see what we got to do on it. Check this. So, like I said before, this is a 1998 Yamaha, Yamaha golf cart, and uh, I think it's pretty dirty right now. It's been sitting underneath the uh, the apple tree that we got here next to the garage, and uh, it's gotten quite a bit of a. It's got a little dirty, but if I can get it running, we'll get it cleaned up. Um, but as you can also see, he uh, when he flipped it, he bent it all up. So I guess we'll see if we can't get some of that straightened out. Get that roof line a little better than what it is because that just whew, look at that i but uh we did have this thing cleaned up pretty good at one time but i guess uh well we'll see if the battery's even dead in it kick it in reverse here well got enough to power that anyways let's take a look up underneath the power barn oh uh, yeah let's see if i get the seat off of here that's a bit dirty in there all right yeah i had this off okay yeah as I was telling you, it had oil all up in the carb, spitting out the carb and everything. There's still quite a bit of... I guess that don't look too bad. I might be able to clean that up. But I was trying to soak some of this oil out of this. Yuck. Now, you know what? Let's stick that back in there. We'll go see if we can't clean this out a little bit
Well, I guess the good thing is no oil on that. Look, it's all stayed on that side. Now we got to figure out how to get this breather cover off. Or whatever you want to call it so I got that air breather assembly off of here and as you can see that carb was just plumb is just plumb full of oil you can see it running down dripping on the ground so we're gonna have to try and get that cleaned up and my next educated guess would be that that cylinder probably had got a lot of oil on it too when it flipped over hopefully not but let's uh let's pull this plug and see if we can get eyes inside that cylinder and see if it's got any fluid in it well got it out it's got well focus focus i say be one with the camera it just does not want to why don't you just be, or, um, it's got some oil on it, guys. It doesn't, it smells like a little bit of oil. Let's see if we can get inside the cylinder here. I don't know if I'd be able to get in here with the camera or not. Well, this might actually help me. Well, it kind of looks dry in there. I don't know. Let's turn the key on to see if this thing will turn over. Whoa! Let's see what it does here. Oh, it's blowing all kinds of gunk out of it. It's just throwing oil all over the place. I'm going to have to go get a rag and clean that up. Oh, we know one thing. That upper cylinder is going to be lubricated. <laughs> Let's see what it does if we just do this. Ooh, get shot. Oh! What in the devil? It's got spark. Looks like that's pushing a whole lot of that out of the intake side. Let's slide this carb on and off. I've still got to figure out how to disconnect it so I can. It's a tricky feller. That ought to be good enough. I can get it. Maybe. I mean, if we could just get it to fire here in a bit. Might be able to brain it on around. I don't know. Oh, top trick. See if I can figure out how to get this carb the rest of the way off here. So I took the bowl off the uh, carburetor here, and as you can see, that thing is just full of oil. Full of oil. So we'll see if we can get that cleaned up now. I mean, whew. is it still blowing out? Oh yeah, we got to run that a few cycles. Well, I got the carb cleaned up pretty good. Use some carb cleaner on that, AKA two stroke gas. It'll be fine. 
we'll slide that back on here. And I'm gonna put this high performance plug in it. No, not really. I cleaned it with the cheese poker. We're gonna stick that back in here. If I manage to pull this off, I'll be a hit with the kids again. Because, of course, Dad's got to fix it. So, I'm putting the carb in the air box back on for a second time because I wasn't pulling any fuel when it was pumping over it with the fuel pump. It's got like a Mechanical works on vacuum pump for the fuel in it. I could clearly see there was no fuel going through the, uh, the fuel filter there. So I'd take this back off, take the breather tube off that runs from the carb to the crankcase, and it was full of oil too. So we got it cleaned up and uh, put it back together, and it started pumping fuel here. So Want to do get this back together tight that way there's no not leaking fuel all over the place when I try to get it here get this vacuum line back on all right it might take a couple seconds here for it to draw some fuel And it's not pulling fuel at the end. So it was just before I put that breather box back on. Well, it barked off. Run out a ton of smoke here. So I know it's. in reverse. Woo! She barked off. All right, maybe that's pulling fuel and I can't see it now. Have gotten somewhere let's uh clean some stuff up and see if uh i can really make this thing mobile Well, as you can see, it's running, smoking a little bit, which is to be expected. There's still probably some oil and uh, whatnot in that cylinder. So I think I'll uh, run it across the field here and see if we can't blow some of that out. Okay, now that we got that thing to bark off and fire, moved it around some, worked some of that out. Um, we're gonna call it quits for the night. Tomorrow, I gotta mow this place. We'll, uh, 
we'll start working on this roof, see if we can't get some of that framework straightened out, and get that roof straightened up, and to see if we can't clean this thing up. But that'll be probably tomorrow evening again, because I gotta mow this place. I gotta mow this place. But so, anyways, we're gonna wrap it up tonight. Throw some steaks on the grill, go eat some grub, check back tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. Boy, that steak was good last night. I got my six hours of mowing done today, and yes, you heard me correctly. It takes me six hours to mow and trim this entire compound that we live on with her aunt and grandma and everybody that lives here. So it's quite a bit of mowing, but we got it all done. So I've already started working on this again today. Got the top off so I can see what really uh, needs to be uh, tried to, I need to try to straighten up. So uh, let me move the camera around here and you can hook your peepers on it and really see all right, the driver's side here, I don't think it sustained any damage to this framework here for the roof. It's the passenger side that, uh, yeah. So that's what I gotta try and finagle. I ain't gonna get it perfect, but I'm gonna see if I can't bend it back as much as I can and get it as straight as I can. You see, it's got a crook right about there and then where it actually makes the bend a 90 degree bend I got to straighten it up right here and then I got to try and straighten up this and then hopefully I won't have to straighten this up much hopefully I'm hoping once I get this straightened up that'll bring that around and then this here you can see compared to this one how bad that is so I gotta get it down here, straighten it up here, and then that's kind of really bent here, if you see how that is. That's like a perfect 90, gradual 90. I don't know what that is, but let's see if you can't straighten it up and get that uh, even, kind of like this one is. So I got the top off it in the sun here let it bake a little bit it should pop right back to where it needs to be been laying there for about 30 minutes now and it's like well yeah you really can't even tell it was all all bent up and then these brackets now hold the bolts you gotta get it get them straightened up need to hammer them out so yeah this is where we're at now See if we can't get these to come around a little bit and get that top back on. And then uh, get to cleaning on this thing a little bit. Like I said yesterday, it's filthy. All right, I got this uh, straightened up there as much as I can. Man, I, I pried and bent and beat. And that's about as straight as I can get this one here. So hopefully, come around from this side and look at it. It doesn't look too bad from this side. The other side looks terrible. So hopefully uh, that'll kind of pull together. Um, I can't get that 90 back in it. Man, I mean, like I said, I beat and pride and everything on this. So like I said, hopefully when I get that top back on, we'll get that to come around a little bit better. And this here, I'm slowly getting that that little kink out of it. I've been beating on that for a while. I should almost get my torch out and heat it up, see if that helps, but man, it's hot out now. So I don't know. But uh, still plugging away at the uh, beating, beating, beating with these. See if I can get them to come around a little more. All right. I had to have the my boys come help me stand on this while I uh, put some leverage on some of these points and uh, try to straighten it up. You can see a little bit in this one here. That's about as straight as I could get that one. Still can't get that out too bad, but man, it's straight there. This here. 
doesn't want to stay. So I'm hoping when I get the roof on it and get those brackets, um, it'll it'll pull pull apart like I need it to. I can't talk now. I'm getting tired, guys. But uh, yeah, that aluminum's tough to bend. Man, I tell you, that was tough. But I got it pretty straight. Let me uh, work on getting this roof on now. And uh, we'll see how easy that is. Well, okay. It's not perfect, but uh, it's a whole heck of a lot better than it was. Take a look at her there. So I bet you if I didn't say something to somebody about it, they would never even realize that it was wrecked. So the only real flaw I have is I absolutely could not get this out, no matter how much I tried. And I was trying to put the screw back in, and as you can see, it doesn't exactly line up. And I can't send it home for it to retap itself because all my batteries are dead. So this took way longer than I thought it would, but we got that far. So we're going to pick the tools up and we're going to call it a night because I've been out here all day, guys, since like 930. And I don't even know what time it is now. It's like 7, 730. So I've been out here working all day. I'm getting tired. I'm getting hungry. I've had one too many adult beverages without no food. So we're going to get this uh, tools picked up and then we'll pick this back up again tomorrow. See if we can't get this thing cleaned up. We'll try to get this thing cleaned up now. So I'm going to try using this stuff. We use it a lot around the house on things. Um, it's pretty good stuff. Just get it at the dollar store for like I don't know, three or four bucks for this size bottle. So what I'm going to do is, is I got an old squirt bottle here and I filled some of it up and I'm going to soak this stain down in it and uh, let it soak for a few and then hit it with a power washer and see what it does. Well, I think it's doing something. Started on this side and worked my way around. By the time I got back to the front here, you could see it's running nasty stuff off of it so I'm just gonna keep spraying her down here a little bit get some of these really nasty areas get this windshield again because it seems to be really bad too might as well hit the seat again too I think that's going to be the hardest to get. Ah, let's see here. Let's see, get some of these real heavy areas. that soak for a minute come back to it and see what it looks like and then start hitting it with the power washer well it's either dumb luck or that awesome that totally awesome stuff works pretty good because you can see I've got half of it done here and it's beginning to look like a totally different cart half the roof is done seats are gonna pose a problem I think I've hit them pretty hard so far and uh, some of that, a lot of that was already on there when we got this. But uh, we're going to see if we can't put something else on it to get that to come off there. But it's coming along. Like I said, it's starting to look like a totally different cart compared to this in the roof. 
So for you people that get satisfaction by watching things get cleaned, we'll set this up on the uh, tripod and let it rip. They have it. You're doing it.
Oh yeah, nothing like getting free labor out of the quarter units. Bo came over and wanted to help, so he's helping. Let him do the underside of the seat here. Yeah, you know, like I said, I don't know how clean we're going to be able to actually get these the leather on the seats or vinyl or whatever it is on here. It, uh, it's pretty grimy. You can see the backside's pretty grimy too. He's doing a pretty good job cleaning it up. hand washing the cart now the boy kept working on the uh, bottom of the seat there and he did a really good job he got all that uh, exhaust grime and oil and everything off there pretty good so he did a really good job I went ahead and hand washed this thing real good I got a lot more crud off and uh, cleaned out the sprayed off the motor and stuff got a lot of that especially that tank that tank was filthy Got a lot of stuff off of that. So uh, overall, it's pretty clean now. I'll go throw the seat back on and see if we can't get it cleaned up anymore. Still working on these seats. They're being a pain in the bleep. Um, been using this VLR by Mothers. It's pretty good stuff. I've used it in the Blazer before. Um, it cleaned my console up pretty good. The, the vinyl on it and whatnot. But this thing's just being stubborn. I've hit this like three times now scrubbing it uh, using one of these little fish scrubbers and uh, it's I've gotten a lot off but it's it's still bad so I'm letting it soak here before I rinse it off there but it's bad so I mean I might just have to recover these I don't know but uh, if you guys got any suggestions or ideas on how to get these things to come around drop them in the comments down there like you know right down there right there yeah just drop a comment and uh give me your thoughts on maybe trying to get these to come around a little bit they're a lot cleaner than they were but they are terrible 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 all right that's about as clean as i'm going to get it for now didn't turn out too bad what do you guys think considering what it looked like to begin with especially that roof and how badly it was bent I'm pleased. It's running. It's not smoking no more. Another successful project, I guess. All right, so that's going to do it for this job, project, whatever. So I don't know what I'm going to do next. I might just paint it. Hmm. Maybe red, black. That might work. I don't know. But that'd be a project for another day if I do that. So it's all done. We're going to check out. Till next time, guys. Peace on.